Okay. Now I wanted to change the color perhaps. It's selected, you can tell, because it has a blue line around it using the selection tool. I can click in this font color and make it a nice blue. I can change the size here. Okay. Now this when you're having like a paragraph and stuff, you have the alignment tools here. They work beautifully. Now, this is really a great tool here, the edit format options. If you click on that, all your indents, line spacing between lines, left margin, right margin, wonderful, wonderful tool here. Okay, this is spacing between letters. If I slide it up, holy, look at the size of that. Okay, not very legible here, kind of hard to read. So maybe you want to do some cool little uh, style thing. Maybe put it like that um, or not. Okay, so we'll put it back to zero right now. So it works beautifully. Now, what I do a lot is I turn like this little um, text thing into a movie clip symbol. Symbols are containers. They contain, the, I could, we'll, we'll put this text into a symbol container. So what we're going to do, so we can work with it, we can do a lot more stuff with it once it's a, a movie clip. So we can go to Modify. You have it selected. Modify, Convert to Symbol, which is a keyboard shortcut, F8. This dialogs, dialog box comes up, Convert to Symbol. And what I always do is I put MC because it's a movie clip. That way, in your library, all the movie clips will be together. Put an underscore, which is a shift dash. And then I'm going to put title, OK? It's a movie clip. Some people are into graphic symbols, but movie clips are more versatile. I like to use them a, a lot more. You can do anything you want with them. Buttons, we'll get into that another time. Registration, uh, most of the time I like to keep it in the center, unless I'm doing some kind of character animation and it needs to be somewhere else. So center registration, it resizes and does everything from that registration point. And you can move it later if you'd like. So keep that, hit OK. Now. This turned into a movie clip. It's a little bit different kind of a box on it. And uh, if you click it, it's no longer editable. Okay? It's because it put this text inside of a movie clip. And I'll show you. Look up here, it says scene one. Now, when I double click on this text, now I'm inside MC underscore title. Now it's editable again. If I double click on here, I can edit it, change the colors, do all that kind of thing. And then I merely have to click on scene one, and now I have the symbol here again. And so that is the beginning of our text. So that's what we're doing right now. We'll go into more on uh, the second, um, second tutorial on this. All right? That's a little bit about text, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.